Breaking Bad is just a TV show, but Mexican drug cartels really are pumping pure cheap meth into our state and killing our people. Anchor Royal Day talked with the Albuquerque Journal about why the cartel's product is so dangerously popular. If you're 19 years old, it is cheaper to get methamphetamine than it is pot. The Albuquerque Journal's Mike Gallagher says high quality cheap meth brought in by Mexican cartels is a problem from New Mexico reservations to metro areas to rural New Mexico. Right now the meth coming out of the Sinaloa cartel and, and the new generation Jalisco cartel is pure. It's highly addictive and the crime that accompanies it is often violent. From the gunning down of a police officer in cold blood in Rio Rancho to the brutal assaults on young girls in Albuquerque and on Native American reservations. It's that cheap out on the street and police really hate methamphetamine because the people who get addicted to it wind up tend to tend to commit horrific crimes. Gallagher says dealers can make a lot of money off of selling meth in New Mexico. And stats point to a big problem. According to the Albuquerque Journal, in 2008 there were 23 overdose deaths in New Mexico. By 2014, that jumped to 111. Gallagher says this stuff is potent. It's well over 95% pure. 90% of the meth consumed in the U.S. is made in Mexico and cartels control it all from making it to selling it. And making an appearance in our state, fentanyl. The journal reports 22 overdose deaths last summer in New Mexico. Both drugs proved to be part of a lucrative, deadly game that will be explained in tomorrow's Albuquerque Journal. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News.